Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, how's it folks and welcome back to the 16th episode of my Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play where we need to meet Sorona in the Three Broomsticks to carry on with the main quest line. Uh, let's get straight into it. Hello there, nice to see you. Hello Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Sorona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Sorona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Oh dear. So it seems like we need to go meet Lord Gok in the Hogshead, which was um, Abbas's double doors in, in Harry Potter's Tower. What do we have here? A demigod. Behind a level 2 lock, so I can't get there. Just yet. An honest day's work for an honest Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Hello, Amit. Haven't seen him in a while. Hog's head with a very crooked side. Right. Let's go speak with our goblin. Welcome to the Hog's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back, 
The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay, before that, I want to fast travel some time to night time and pick up the demigod statue that's in the hog's head. Before I forget now, about it. Again. Yes, yes. That's why fast travel time. You don't have to keep saying that, mister. So it's, yes, over here. Before I forget about it. Okay, so he, the hog's head is right by the, the little dock. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Um, let's see if I can pick up some seats, seeing as I need them for Welcome. some of my Come assignments. Now, where was I? I, right. oh, yes. I need Malice Sweet for the Merlin trials. Now, you let me know if there's anything else and I, I can needed help the Flux Sweet, so I might as well pick up the other ones. And then sell off the I'm not using. You have a good head for business, haven't you? So I don't run out of space for... Um... When I'm in drench rain. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. All right, let's carry on for uh, and quest. Ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Looks like we can't run. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet Lumos. as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. I think I've just figured out the, that Merlin trial over there that I struggled with earlier. Seems to be, maybe I need to, instead of trying to destroy those blocks, I need to bring those glow worms or whatever they are to those blocks. Let me actually try that. Picking up some extra moonstone, always useful. Lumos. Yep, that gathers in. Okay, so I think this is the right track. Yep. This is what I need to do. Go for this one. And then this group over here. Yep, this is another moon trial sorted out. Not difficult, I just didn't see or well, make the connection when I first tried the dot. Lumos. Oh well, live and learn. Did I interrupt his speech by going off on a tangent? Where is this? This looks like the tomb now that we get into towards. Yep, doesn't seem like he has anything else to say. Other than finishing off on what he previously said, which was the differences between goblins and wizard are not insurmountable. So peace is possible. Ah, and there it is. Okay. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? So I didn't break him, that's good. 
You just don't have anything else you said. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. So we're going tomb raiding. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your Revelio. Please be careful. Lumos. It seems it's in its own instance beyond a loading screen. Maybe because of its uh, story mission. Lumos. Ah, uh, the the torches light up automatically. Revelio. It's sealed. Moths. Oh, curious. Pretty straightforward. I'm guessing that's what future puzzles in this tube is going to be like. Bringing moths to those sort of doors. Merlin's beard. Revelio. There's some money in here, gotta pick it up. And a chest. Crepuscular cape. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Yeah, and then I'm assuming the other moth will be behind this door. Akio. There we go, and there it is. Revelio. There's nothing else here but Lumos. moving forward with the a two. Alright, let's go through this door. Really simple these puzzles so far. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Oh, I'm looking forward to fighting something, Farah. I'm kind of enjoying the... Um... Confringo! Compulsor! I need to launch them into. Okay, that's the launch of them then. Okay, that didn't 
launch him into the destructible environment either. Oh, there's a, no, a new one. So I can force him out. Yeah. To yeah? The pulsar. Okay, that didn't work either. Um maybe this brick here. The pulsar. Yep. Confringo. Protego. Stupid. The pulsar. Here we go. Confringo. Sorted it out with the last one. Revelio. Put a pole behind there. Pick up our loot. Skulls of the Inferno. It seems to be everything in here that I can. Oh, wait, no. S something up here. Can I climb? Yeah. Yes, I can. Let's get this chest. Another unidentified legendary item. Alright. This looks like it's going to be another battle arena. Lumos. No. This is a puzzle place. Put down here. Let's take you. Put you on the door. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. I think that's what this elevator is for. Depulsor. Lumos. There we go. Drop it off here. And then pick up the one that was in here. And drop it off. There you go. So I'm assuming there's going to be a, another elevator and later puzzle if there's more puzzles to go through. That's what the third one we've done. Revelio. Alright, let's keep moving through. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Well, let's see what's through here first before we go down. Revelio. Some loot top on both sides, so we're gonna have to move the that block. Cavalso. There we go. Pushing your tools shelf. Revelio. Uh, then there's this chest. Almost left that one behind. Seems to be it. Yep. Let's go down. Oh. Got a little dam. Okay, that looks like the main way, so let's go the opposite way. It's probably going to be loot this way. I think that's an Accio thing. Accio. Yep. Yeah. Alright, just brings me back to this place. Revelio. Looks like it's done enough to do anything else, so then let's move on. I was wrong about the loot. Let's put the pulsar back. And then. Pick up. Okay. Confringo! Protego! Stupid! Confringo. 
to Pulsa. Stupid one. Damn, I'm trying to set them on fire so I can do the the Julian challenge. Confringo. Protego. Not what I meant to call say. Okay, that doesn't seem to work out. pretty quickly so not really launch them at each other but oh, there's more of them I only managed to get one of them, even though the whole time I was trying to get the first one. Revelio. Okay. Lumos. Put you on the style thingy here. Yeah? Revelio. Lumos. Okay. He that only accepts one. So. Cabalsa. Here we go. Got up here. But first. Revelio. 
Make sure we don't loo leave any loot behind. Out right down here. Here we go. Capulso! Lumos. Yeah, that's one of the box slots. Okay. I think I don't know how to get that one. Depulso. And then stand over here. Lumos. Yep. Go. That's two. No. I need to one of the other ones on there. Was it not one there? Revelio. Oh, there's one parcel up there already. Okay. That makes it easier. Depulso. Lumos. There we go. Not too difficult. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Looks like there was fighting going on Revelio. here. With people who got here before me. Yeah, that's a very fresh body. Whole bunch of burnt in Sarah bodies as well. Looks like I was late. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. Better show this to Lord Gok. All right, let's leave the team there. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. And you knew it. <laughs> How did you know to put something in the fire there? And it would open that fireplace entrance? Look confusing. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. In the fly over there. Oh, it's in the Forbidden Forest. What was that growling sound? Uh, <laughs> Is that a troll? You've made a grave mistake. Okay, hang on. I want to see if I can't. Sorry, I need to use Protego success. Never mind, so I need to be in combat. I just need to beat them. Confringo. 
the black other people have all too much as well. Oh, he's over there. Might wanna look up. Confringo. Expulsion. Gradego. Glacis. Depulsa. Confringo. My conductive, aren't we? Expulsion. Stupid. Depulsa. Expulsion. You will not survive this. Death. <laughs> No one to share in my victory. Oh, that was the troll bogeys. I needed that for Professor Ernal's quest. Okay. Um, was there anything down Rebellion. here? Something underneath there. That I can't pick up. Unfortunate. And then there was, yes, skipping stone. Not too shabby. There's a chest in here. Gonna pick that up. Uh, Destruction 3. Okay. That's a pretty good enchantment to pick up in the early game. And that's just jumping toad stools. Got enough of those. Ah, there's a chest in here. That's it. Almost red cot. That's what I needed. This is for Rookwood! <laughs> I know, I'm not... Camera zoomed in way too much. You took Nora Treadwell from the Balsa! Glacier, oh. time for summer season. Confringo! Uh, I see! Oh, it was beyond me. Oh, it's fun, summoned a whole bunch of... Confringo! Somebody paid attention in defense against the Dark Arts class! <laughs> Depulsa! Glacius! Ah. Oh, so we killed her in... Nobody will believe in I Sira did some national well. Revelio. Okay. Pick up whatever she dropped. A black watch played long coat. It looks like there's a spider, dead spider that's in that cage. Anything else? Something up here, is that a Merlin trial? I don't think I have enough mana speed to do it though, unfortunately. So I need to come back. I need to actually start growing some mana speed in the remote requirement. So let's head off back to uh, Lord Cook. Give him his famous or famed uh, helmet that Martin Press ran up, but honestly, not Mysterious too sure about and that. A bit unsettling. What to do? I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hmm. I was kind of expecting him to get me, give me the info there. I am really level 24 now. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. 
I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Just gonna be doing these popping balloon things quickly. Seeing as I just spotted them. And I think... The next episode will be with Deke in the room of requirement for the beast things. Because I've been looking forward to getting that started quite a while now. And that's just the uh, Forbidden Forest. Allow me to put you out of your You saw him catch a beast. Spends more time petting the things. Ugh. This is pointless. No one comes through here. And when did I set my traps? Was it lower or upper? Because don't tell us here. I sense it. Protego! Ooh, that was very Beasts effective. around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. Blew him up while he was trying to attack. Alright. And there's some moves around here, so... I think we'll meet... We'll start off the next episode meeting with Deke in the room of requirement. Nobody will miss then we'll end this off here. Hope you guys have a great day and cheers for now.